Duke Wheatley here with a, uh, another video for GrabGreatTraffic.com and in this one we're going to uh, continue on. We, the last one we showed you how to work how to add some content and in this one we're going to show you how to work with headers. Now in this one we're going to show you how to insert your headers. If you need help constructing your headers in your little newsletter download you've got about five uh, PSD uh, type headers which means that they have layers in and uh, if you go to the GIMP page on the main site uh, you can find out how to work with these and then this will show you how, this will give you enough this is out of my 150 uh, header uh, massive graph pack selection but these will give you something to start with and just kind of get familiar with working with GIMP and, and constructing a header so let's go ahead and hit control O here and open up our uh, index and we've already uh, put the title in this learn how to use the best free resources uh, now you can either select your graphic your header here uh, by double clicking it will bring up the uh, image properties uh, dialog box or we can close this and just select it and now go up to the uh, menu and insert image and that will also bring up the dialog box now I want to show you a few things here uh, it's very important that you uh, copy your image folder along with your pages uh, if you don't do this when you get done uploading all this to your uh, server uh, you'll have a bunch of blank spots where the images used to be so let's just show you what happens here if we just change this image a little bit here and hit OK you can still see it but now we're gonna close it and save it and then hit control O and open it again by double clicking it and you can see this is it doesn't know where to find the image now so uh, this this just illustrates how important it is to keep that folder along so that uh, the browser can find these images and, and hook them up with your, with your page now uh, I want to show you here uh, different sizes you can select your template here and you you can resize it by clicking and dragging is one way uh, we're going to import an image and uh, we have uh, most this is a 700 pixel wide template and we have some headers in here that uh, in your little collection one of them this is uh, as you can read down here is a is a 750 wide and we're going to import that and hit OK and it's going to scrunch it down just a little bit um, what we can do is let's hit control Z I think we will anyway to undo that uh, let's delete it and now let's uh, let's go ahead and we can either uh, pull this out uh, let's do it this way we can either pull <coughs> Excuse me, pull this out to make it 750, or we'll hit Control Z and put it back. Or uh, just go ahead and right click this table and get the table cell properties. And uh, by default, it opens up into cells, and we don't want cells, we want the actual table. So let's go ahead and we have. Uh, let's see here we want to get in here we got the wrong one let's see if table cell that gets us into it hit the table and now we have 700 uh, pixels wide uh, that's under the table tab in the table properties so let's just go ahead and type in 750 and hit apply and you can see that it's made it a little bit wider 
and we'll hit OK. And now let's go ahead and re-import this header in uh, to this larger size here. So let's insert it. And we want our H5 and hit OK. And they want a text, so we'll say uh, easy for you. Brew header. We would, uh, if we were doing this for a site, we'd of course put uh, keyword rich uh, uh, text in there. But this, this would be okay. And now you can see it goes ahead and fills it up, and it's not scrunching the image down. So let's go ahead and close this uh, and not save it. And now when we open it back up, can hit Control O. We still don't have our old header in, but we only it's uh, set, going to be 700 pixels wide. And let's go ahead, we can double click this area, bring this up, and now instead of the, the one with the bad uh, uh, address, let's go ahead and open up and find our original header, which is this one. Let's double click it. And easy for you, Guru header. Let's hit OK and now we're back to where we were to start out with but this will give you an idea how to work with these headers and like I say if you need a little help uh, in constructing them uh, you've got five PSD headers to uh, work with you can mix and match and uh, and get some experience in working with uh, the GIMP so I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this and in the next video we're going to show you how to insert graphics like into the text and also how to put a, a, a buy now button up and a guarantee and stuff like that. So uh, hope you join us for the next video and thanks for watching.